Yo, what's going on guys? This is Wolf here, and today we got some gameplay and commentary of Black Ops 2. And of course, in the gameplay in the background, you're gonna be seeing me use the Scorpion Evil, because this gun is so goddamn evil. This gun melts people so quickly here on Black Ops 2, man. <laughs> and I actually, to be honest, I don't really like this weapon very much at all in this game. And not because it's bad or anything, but because in my standards, I think this one is, is one of the cheapest or cheesiest weapons to use here on Black Ops 2. And the way I would uh, make similarities to any other gun, this is probably like the equivalent of the Remington 870 but for the submachine gun class you know because this gun is actually really dangerous up close this gun is too easy to use man but uh anyways uh the gameplay to elaborate a little bit more this is a, a nuclear gameplay nothing fast like a 10 second nuclear nothing ridiculous but uh more like a, a five minute nuclear something along those lines and i also was able to get like 90 plus kills so you know with a weapon i don't like but anyways guys uh, enough of that you guys pretty much heard about all the gameplays you guys know what wolf brings wolf beasts and feasts on all these noobs so nothing new right there but for today's commentary i kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my childhood and my experiences uh you know being a pc gamer and you're like what wolf you're a pc gamer I don't believe you and <laughs> this is true guys I actually was a PC gamer back in my childhood and you know being a, a PC owner or a computer owner back in the 90s you know that was during my childhood was pretty uncommon it was very rare and you're like what owning a computer was rare back in the 90s and yes I'm talking to you youngsters you teenagers you guys wouldn't understand I mean you guys you know as soon as you're born uh, you know by the time you're one years old you pretty pretty much got like a Facebook Twitter you know guys got uh, iPhones and all that stuff you guys are spoiled to hell with technology but back in my day <laughs> you know I sound like an old ass man but I'm only 26 but to make you youngsters understand owning a, a computer back in the day was like I said really uncommon and this is because computers were very expensive and also because not many companies actually make computers but my family was actually very fortunate enough to own a computer because, you know, both my parents were teachers. So I had that added benefit of, you know, playing on, uh, you know, the computer and actually playing some PC games, man. And uh, <laughs> there were some few games that, you know, still stick to me. You guys may not have ever heard of them because, like I said, um, you guys are pretty much the new generation of uh, gamers now. But the two games that I really loved as a as a gamer uh, during my childhood, or PC gamer I should say, was uh, Marathon Dur Durando, and you guys probably never heard of it, and Power P. Those were two really fun games for me. And of course I owned, um, you know, other games, you know, simulation games where you could play as a uh, uh, aviator pilot and racing car games, but Power P was probably, you know, a really fun adventure game. Uh, you know, you play as a toy and, <laughs> and uh, shoot other toys, but my very first uh, first person shooter game that I ever played and this was before Call of Duty of course was uh, Marathon and the sequel Marathon Durando and these two PC games were my absolute favorite and I know I shouldn't have been playing this because you know they had aliens and gore and guns and I know my mom would have not approved them but you know me and my cousins were mischievous back in the day you know when we were little kids and <laughs> you know we installed the CD-ROM on my computer and you know I was able to play the game you know Marathon and like I said you guys probably have never heard of Marathon or Marathon Durando you know the sequel but you guys have definitely heard of the company that created it and the company that created the game was Bungie and you guys know that from Halo or even Destiny which I believe came out this uh, week so you know back before Halo there was a marathon and you know it was really similar to Halo now and back um, now you know there are very many similarities to you know Halo because Marathon was actually like another space game you know sci-fi game where you're a space soldier and uh, you take out or shoot aliens and kill aliens to, to complete missions and stuff. You know, it was a pretty fun game, but by today's standards, the, the what you gonna call it, the graphics would probably look like crap. You'd be like, what the hell is this shit? What am I playing, man? <laughs> you know, probably like uh, the 3DS would have way better graphics than uh, the computers back in my day, to be honest. But, you know, that was, that was life back in the 90s, man. <laughs> like I said, I was very, very fortunate enough to 
have a family that owned a computer and I was actually able to play these games and you know uh, first person shooter games and games in general have really evolved you know from uh, you know my time all the way to now the present day because I can remember man just playing on a keyboard for me back in the day was very difficult for me you know using the keyboard to, to move and maneuver my character and I even had a joystick man but I still <laughs> I was such a noob I didn't even know how to use the joystick properly I would be shooting up in the sky it was just really difficult for me but you know looking back on it it, it is pretty funny but uh, like comparing it to today's you know first person shooter games is such a complete difference I mean you still have the online element which I know a lot of people can't complain of uh, the online compared to before was terrible man back in my day you know the online would take you at least 20 minutes to connect to the internet because there was only like AOL online that's all they had there was nothing else <laughs> But anyways guys, I hope you enjoy this, uh, you know, the gameplay and commentary about my experiences as a PC gamer. And of course, thanks for watching.